Hi, welcome to the Rusted Willow. My name is Tammy. Today we are going to do a house tour for Christmas at my sister's. I hope you enjoy. We went to her house at night so that we could look at the lights because the lanterns are so beautiful. She got those snowflakes at Dollar Tree. She has a three, a metal three-tiered tray. This is her lantern that we made um, from inspiration on Natalie Callahan's channel, Design to the Nines. She has a flocked swag. The trash can, or the can, it's not really a trash can, is from Hobby Lobby that she spray painted black. She has a little tree or a couple trees inside the lantern and the lantern is filled with pine cones. Here is one of her flower urns with Christmas greenery and more lantern. Here is a sign that I made for her out of pallet wood and metal lettering and that's how her entryway looks. This Christmas wreath, um, the Santa hat, is a Dollar Tree form and you'll see that on another DIY. So here is the tiered tray again. It's actually a tiered cart, three tiered metal cart. There's also a hanging lantern that we made off of Design to the Nines. <laughs> we love Natalie's channel and we re, um, recreate a lot of her things. So in the front, she's got some topiaries with some buffalo checked wrapped presents with black and white buffalo and red and black buffalo and also a little potted bench. So inside we go. This is into her mudroom, laundry room, entryway, so to speak. Um, she's got a reclaimed, repurposed bar there that came out of, I believe, a shop with her apothecary jars filled with candy and succulents from the Dollar Tree. And we will get back to this area in a moment. On to her Christmas tree. She has kind of a farmhouse coastal theme, um, but her tree is black and white, mostly white with some black and white check in there. Um, that swag we got from Hobby Lobby. There's a jingle all the way that she took off of a sign from Dollar Tree. All of this is new this year. She wanted to do something different with her tree. So a lot of this stuff is from Dollar Tree. She's got some picks in there. She's got some cute little black and white checked boots. Those are just adorable. I love those. The hat is from Kirkland's. So a lot of the stuff she got from Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby. She's fluffing her tree as we're recording. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's just beautiful. Here's her living room. Her furniture is from IKEA and it is slip covered. And how she keeps it white, I have no idea. Um, she decorates a lot with reclaimed items apothecary jars, old windows, which I love those. We love those. Those came from, those windows came from one of our favorite antique malls and we have a favorite booth in the mall. Our booth is not very expensive, very affordable. Here is another apothecary jar, uh, starfish in them. See, there's her coastal theme coming through. She has a reclaimed, that is baseboard. She has white houses with Christmas trees theme going on this year. I love the greenery. She also got new stockings this year. Back to her mudroom. I love that mirror. So that was an old window that she had a mirror put in. This used to be her candle cabinet, full of cabinet candles, but she changed it up like she does every other day. That white cabinet was also, it was saved out of a barn or a, or a garage or something. I think her father-in-law got it for her. And there is a reclaimed picture frame that was turned into a chalkboard. 
and also this little bread bowl or wooden bowl was from our favorite booth at the antique mall and it's filled with rocks and succulents from Dollar Tree. That is her cocoa bar. That sign, pour some sugar on me, I made for her. And then she's just got a little white cake stand with a cloche and she puts that on top of the candle. But each one of those little drawers holds, whether it's tea, coffee, cocoa, she has everything in these little drawers. So these candle sticks with the cloches on there, she goes to the antique malls and Goodwill and thrift stores and finds these cloches everywhere, all shapes and sizes. They are just gorgeous. Is a minimalist, so I'm shocked she has anything out on her cabinets, honestly. Is her fireplace. This actually was a save. I think her husband found it in an alley somewhere, thrown out in a trash pile, and he brought it home, fixed it up for her, and it is just gorgeous. So here's her white trees, or I'm sorry, white houses with <laughs> with trees theme going on in her dining room. We turned off the lights so you could see how beautiful it is at night with the Dollar Tree candles lit that light up. They're super cute. And then she's got her table decorated with some poinsettias and a snowman that she put together with like fish bowls or big round glass bowls. All the stuff inside it came from Dollar Tree. It looks really high-end, super cute, except for the gingerbread house ornament. Um, I'm not sure where she got that, but that did not come from Dollar Tree. And she decorated the table with little green trees and pictures of our mother when she was a child. Our mother also made that table runner so really beautiful i love these shutters on either side of my sister's windows too they were handmade by her husband there's also the picture from design to the nines natalie callahan's channel how many times am i going to say that in this video <laughs> probably a couple more <laughs> but anyway love her printouts she designs these if you watch her channel you can print them off for free or you can print them out and pay for them to be printed or you can print them at home on your printer for free. My husband actually made these wood signs for my sister so she could hang her pictures on them. They are just palette boards put together, super cute. Um, I still don't have my set yet, so I'm waiting on those. There's my husband. Um, instead of watching The Voice, he could be making me those signs, but he's not. Um, he's waiting on me. <laughs> Here is just another metal tray. I thought she decorated it super cute. A touch of Christmas with her green, uh, with her moss balls. And then here is a scroll sign that I made for her that is Oh Holy Night music, which I got for free on Google. And now we are in the master bedroom and See how simple she decorates I mean there's big pieces small pieces cloches so she has like the same theme going on throughout her whole house lots of greenery greenery that she either picks up on sale at the thrift store sometimes we get at a really good price at the antique mall but here is another beautiful window that has been mirrored for her bedroom this fireplace mantle let's talk about that for a minute was made out of a twin size headboard i've had my twin size headboard in my garage for probably two years maybe two and a half I don't know quite a while anyway my husband has not gotten around to making my fireplace mantle for me um, like this but I have all the pieces we took them all over to my brother-in-law's house so hopefully I will get that for Christmas <laughs> from my sister super cute I want one in my bedroom just like it she also has some more apothecary jars seashells in them a very chunky candlestick holder it's just gorgeous just gorgeous one of my favorite things in her bedroom is the window we love old windows and the chunky candlestick holder i believe that candle is in sand as well also carrying the beach theme the farmhouse coastal theme throughout the house here we are in her little master bathroom it is just um a two-piece bath 
and she has a wooden shelf that she got from Hobby Lobby. She spray painted it black and she's just got some little shelf setters on there with her twine and her moss balls and some Dollar Tree items and some sand dollars and the apothecary jar. That chandelier was clear crystals, not real crystals, but clear and she spray painted them black. Isn't that cute? She also has the pair of sconces that turn on. They are hardwired in there. Super cute. Love how she decorated it. So simple, so cute. Her bedroom is navy and her bathroom, her main bathroom is also navy. So this is her main bathroom. She has the metal cabinet that holds some of their hygiene items with a metal cake stand. Those are her grandbabies. This mirror she had made, um, she came over and rummaged through my craft room and took this, <laughs> took this mirror. It is off of an antique dresser. The mirror was broken out of it. I was going to make it into a chalkboard and she said, no, I need that. I'm going to make that into my bathroom mirror. She brought me her mirror and she traded me. I'm like, go right ahead. I will trade you. Behind her uh, toilet in the bathroom, she has a couple of floating shelves with some greenery super simple but looks so high-end and just her house could be in a magazine my house is not this fabulous guys thank you so much for letting us into your home and giving us a tour of your christmas decorations when you have your tree done i'll come back and take pictures and post it on my instagram post for sure thank you for stopping by if you'd like to connect with me i'd love to have you i'm on facebook instagram and pinterest Thank you for stopping by today. I hope you have a blessed day. I had a lot of fun doing this. She also has a she shed. Yay! So, thank you. So <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. One.